So let's start with making our first video game design using Scratch. Okay, so let me start sharing my screen so that in that way you would know how does it look like. So, okay, so as I said, this is how the platform basically looks like, okay. You would have different characters. You can have different characters. And how would you do that? Supposedly, I want to make a character. What would I do is initially I would hover over here and right next to this one, choose a new sprite from file. So you click on this, the one which has a star with a folder on it. You will click on that. Once you click on that, you would have different options. Okay. Uh, so you probably want an animal. Okay, so you could choose, go to the animal folder. You can choose any of the animals that you want or human beings. I don't think so you have that option. Supposedly, I want, uh, what do I want? Oh. Yeah, not an insect. How about a grasshopper? Frog, no, no. How about... How about I have a, a, one of these? Parrot. Let's have a parrot. Okay, so this is my second character. Okay, so I have two characters as you can see over here. One is Sprite 1, the other one is Sprite 2. Okay, so these are the different characters that I would be working with. You can import more characters. Uh, you can obviously go for, supposedly you want to go for, uh, like, instead of animals, you can obviously go for uh, people. Let's see what we have in people. We could have uh, a lot of people. We could have a kid. We could have human being of different. So let's have, supposedly, a break dancer. Let's have this. Okay. So we can add that as well that would be our third character so you can add a lot of characters over here so that you could see over here you can even uh, not just that you can have a lot of other things as well you can go back uh you can go for like over here supposedly you want it to have um food so you you can go for that or uh, let's see what what other things do we have we can have a building, we can have a soccer. Uh, yeah, you have a lot of more options over here. So how about, uh, let's have this one. This is our third item. At this point, I'm just randomly choosing stuff so over here just to show you the different options that you have and what you can work with. Uh, you can obviously uh, go for, if you're not interested in any of these, you can go for a transportation. You probably want a cool car, right? Supposedly, or a magic carpet or a yacht. Uh, how about we have uh, a car? Let, let's have this basic blue car. Let's have this in our picture as well. And, and then once, so this is how you can import different characters and different players. So each one of this, so when you're playing a video game, for instance, uh, it lets you choose uh, what, uh, what, what, what's the right word? What's the virtual uh, animation that you want to be? So you could choose like any of these characters. So you could be player one, could be this cat, player two could be this human being, and the third player could be this parrot. So. Uh, now it depends. So now once you have your character selected, the next thing would be basically be able to control and make them do a particular task. Okay. So in order to do that, uh, you will have to come over here and you choose what you want to work with. So you would see that when I'm clicking on this, you would see on the top of the screen, this this is called Sprite 1, and this is the thing that you would be making and you'll be coding using this options that you have. You can change its motion, you can change its looks. Uh, so how about we change its looks? Okay, so uh, let, so first thing, like, let, let me show you an example. From the control, you want, when you're clicking this green flag, you want it to say hello for supposedly five seconds. Okay, now let's see whether it works. 
Okay, uh, so let's try that. Uh, so this is what you would do. You would probably click on this one and see it is saying hello for five seconds. Okay, again, I'm clicking on this one, saying hello for five seconds. Now you probably want it, uh, this character over here to reply it. To it. So what would you do is now you would go back to Sprite Tree, okay, and you want it to say hello after ten seconds. So what you would do is same. Go back over here. You choose this. You want an action to be done once you click something, right? So you're going to click on this one, and then you want it to probably. Uh, Look, you wanted to say hello back uh, for probably another five seconds, okay, for five seconds. So uh, let, uh, let's see whether this one does it. Like we just thought that you can do with this character, but let's see whether you can do it with this character as well. So I'm going to go over there and I'm going to click and see they're simultaneously saying hello because now I had two characters, so they're both of saying hello, hello. So how about we can do this? This one says hello, and then after that, it says hello. So how about 10 seconds? Let's see. Okay, so it stopped five seconds, but it's still having for 10 seconds. Okay, so what you could have done is you could go back over here, you can edit it, so say hello for one second. Okay, and that would be for 10 seconds. So now let's start, like you want the game to start, so you do this, okay. Did you see what happened? Then you're going to stop everything, and then again, let's play. Okay, it stands. Hello for a few seconds and you're having it this. So you can just play around with this. So you can have, and once you want to stop everything, you'll just go for over here. You'll click this button over here and it will stop everything. Okay, so uh, that's how it would basically work. Uh, another example, so you can have not just this, you can have, uh, <clears throat> let's suppose you want to add something up. Um, Let's, after this, supposedly, this is for the cat, uh, change, uh, let's see, ghost, okay, effect by 25. Let's see what happens. This is for the cat, okay, now let's see. And see, it's becoming like ghost, like it's becoming lighter. How about, uh, let's go for color, okay, let's play and see what is happening. It's changing the color. Okay, so you can actually play around with this. Okay, uh, supposedly you don't want that. You probably want to see a fish eye. Let's see what happens with a fish eye. Uh, see, it's just changing. It's just floating. Okay, so uh, if there were not none of the other characters, and we're just focusing on one of the characters, this is how you, you could do, or you could have it uh, pixelate. Let's see how does it work with pixel light. See, it's just disappearing, okay? Uh, it's not just for this, you can have a lot of other things going on, like, uh, so this are the many options over here, and I would love to, you to play uh, uh, around with this, okay? So, now supposedly you want this thing clear the graphic effects so how about this uh you bring this over here so you would want uh when you're pressing an up arrow on your keyboard you want to clear the graphics okay so let's press this so i'm pressing an up arrow okay and let's see or uh, let's say when I'm pressing A, let's see. 
let's try this from the very beginning. Let's try what's happening. Okay, and now when I'm pressing A, it's going back to its own pace. Okay, so uh, see, uh, let me show you again what, what I actually did. So I want to start the game. So after one second, it says hello, it says hello, and then it gets pixelated and it remains pixelated, but you don't want that for a pretty long time. You want it to go back to its original form. So what you would do is you want to clear that graphic effect that you just created. So what would you do is in this case, I chose like when once I'm pressing until I press F supposedly, I don't want, I want it to remain like this. So what I would do is when I'm pressing F on my keyboard, is going back to the original phase. So you can control uh, how you want to design the game. That uh, you want the game to start once you press this, there's both saying hello. It get it's get once it says hello, it gets pixelated, but you want it to return back to its original form. And as I said over here, just the background until I press F, it won't go. So once I press F, so it's going back. So it's just a basic introduction of how you can play around with control and how it would look like uh, in terms of looks, like how we can control it looks. We played around a little bit with uh, other factors as well, like the graphic effects, like this one, uh, change color effect, uh, clear the graphic effects you can do over here. So the green ones, the purple ones are for the looks. Okay, and the yellow ones are for the controls. Okay, so this is a small basic uh, introduction as well.